Hello everybody, it's Amber, and I have another mini accordion album that I wanted to share with you. I had so much fun making the last one that I showed you in the last video, and it's right here. It's this coral shabby chic one. Um, if you want to check that out, it's my last video. But anyways, I had so much fun making it, and it went so quick and easy, and I loved using all the paper up that I had, and... Um, it was just a lot of fun. So the tutorial that I used is from the Scrappy Bookworm 1. And if you go to my last video where I showed the first one that I made, um, I link her tutorial on that video. So you could just click on it and head on over and make your own. Anyways, um, I will tell you that this is using one sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock for the base of the album. And I used black on this one. I was in a little more of a vintage mood. Um to make this one and I used this paper that I hadn't even ever used before and I bought a couple months ago. It's the Regent Street by Recollections and it's like a vintage sewing paper. Love it. I absolutely love it. So I got to use that and instead of a belly band I used a seam binding closure on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I made. First of all, I'll show you how I put the seam binding on um, in a little bit, but I just want to show you I kept the cover pretty simple. This paper did most of the work for me. Look how gorgeous it is. It's got like a collage of stuff on it. Um, this says Taylor Made, and it's actually part of the paper. And then I just did like a little cluster down here of this Prima Flower, a Recollections flower, this really pretty trim that I have. Um, I don't even know what it's called, but I have like five yards of it. And then this vintage button and a spool. And I just kept it pretty simple. So that's the cover. And then it's an accordion album. So you just flip it open. And I left this page blank over here. It's got this cool um, spool and a thimble. And then over here I did, out of some lace that I got from Rosie Cooper, she sent me some happy mail a while back and some lace and so I used some of the lace and I made a pocket and out of this scrap of paper from the paper line I just created a little note notebook with some lined paper that I got that I have um, in my stash that I use usually um, for like tags and journaling spots but I went ahead and made a little note notebook out of it so that just goes right back into there next page um, I just want to mention that I'm not very good at stamping, so I wanted to do. Some, I made that my goal for this weekend, and I wanted to practice stamping because I have a bunch of ink and a bunch of stamps. So I just I, I'm loving the image stamp, the image tags that people are showing, um, and there's image tag swaps. I'm just loving the um, the very simple and clean image stamps, and not you know. I love the girl stamps that everybody has and how they color them with their Copics and all that, but I don't have Copics, and I don't really have any girl stamps except for a couple. So I want to get into practicing my stamping with image, kind of image stamps like this. So I I use these tags and all the tags and these like um, top note dies. Everything is was cut for me by my friend Bridget. Hey Bridget, she's Fat Fanny 618 and she cut all these um, for me on her Cricut. But anyways, here's these two ta mini tags that I did with some seam binding and I stamped these really cool vintage stamps that I got and they're the Vintage Threads by TPC Studios and I thought it was really appropriate for this paper line. So those just get tucked back into there. And this little pocket technique I learned from Shabby Beautiful here on YouTube. She's got some really cool tutorials on um, using her mats. So that's how I made that. This, I just made a little corner pocket. And I did another image stamp with this vintage sewing machine. And I stamped that down there as well. And then I just used a vintage button and um, some black lace. And these albums have plenty of room for big picture, you know, pictures and then journaling or uh, just a bunch of pictures. And the tags have lots of room for journaling. So over here I cut this out of the paper line. I just fussy cut it and distressed the edges. And then this clothespin is actually part of the paper. I just glued it down. And I left it open on this side so I could tuck this tag in with this retro brad and the seam binding. So I just made this like a double layer tag. And that says vintage. 
So all the paper's gorgeous. This one has um, this like shadow effect of this image here. And I just used this Baroque die that I got from Bridget as well. Put some lace here and I want you can flip it over, do journaling over here, put a big picture here. So that was that side of the album. And then this is the back. And this is where the seam binding closure is glued down. And what I did here is I just planned to where if this, you know, if they if somebody wants to display this or whatever, they could still tie a ribbon here at you know, a lot on the back side. But this is actually the closure for the album too. So I just stuck this tag down with this cool trim up here. And I just stamped that on there. And then the album opens this way. So this paper does all the work. It's gorgeous. And I just left it kind of plain. I just put some crocheted lace along the edge. Um, this page is the really pretty plaid paper. And look at this ticket stub. I got this in a rack from Cynthia. And she's the scrappy bookworm one, the one responsible for this tutorial. And isn't that so cute? And it was so appropriate for this album. So so lovely. And it's got the spool and it's glossy accented. And she put the thread with the button. It's so adorable. And she also gave me this little pouch. It's a celebrate it mini bag. And I just tucked in a little tag with some stamping. Another vintage button and that trim again. The next page, I have another one of Cynthia's um, bags that she sent me, and I just decorated it. And she also sent me this paper clip that she makes. Um, she sent me a bunch or a couple of these, and I just that's how this is being clipped onto the book. And then here's another stamp with these button stamps and this vintage image here. And then I got a vintage button up top, and I just tucked it back in here. And it just gets clipped right back onto the page. Okay, over here I created a pocket. And this paper is amazing. It's like glossy newspaper um, clippings. And it's and then I created a pocket out of this um, cutout from the paper line. And then I used this border from the paper line. This is my favorite tag that I made. It's the dress form. It's so pretty. And it's got the vintage button with the... Um, really light kind of caramel colored seam binding and then look we're back to the beginning so that is how this accordion album looks and I did like the vintage sewing thing with this one so I, I really like how it turned out and I can't wait to make a bunch more hopefully I'll get some more done this weekend and I hope you guys can go check out my last video and click on the link and check out um, Cynthia's tutorial because it's really easy and she does a great job in explaining on how to design or how to um, construct the base of the album. And then you can just use your imagination and create a way. So anyways, I hope everybody is having a great weekend so far. And um, thank you so much for all your amazing and sweet comments and I love everybody else's videos they inspire me every day and I just want to thank you so much for watching my videos I hope you all have a great weekend I will see you soon bye bye